These barrows, known as the Cursus barrows, seem to be strung out in a line alongside the much, much older Stonehenge Cursus, which suggests that the Cursus was perhaps still visible, perhaps still important to the early Bronze Age people who were here. So not only did they want to bury their dead within sight of Stonehenge, but also alongside the much older monument of the Cursus. Brown barrows are burial mounds. They're used for the burial of people, um, sometimes um, one person, sometimes multiple burials in the same barrow. And sometimes the people inside are buried um, as inhumations, so full skeletons, and sometimes they're buried as cremations. This particular barrow behind us is what's known as a bell barrow. It's named a bell because it looks like an upside down bell. It has the round mound and then there's what we call a berm, which is a flat area, before you reach the ditch which surrounds the barrow. There are several different types of barrows. Bell barrows, there's also bowl barrows, which are more simple mounds. And then what's sort of known as fancy barrows, which are barrows that are other shapes, disc barrows or saucer barrows, and some rare ones called pond barrows.